Have you ever wondered about the formidable emperors who once ruled the vast Mauryan Empire? Today, we embark on a captivating journey into the annals of history, tracing the footsteps of the Mauryan emperors of Magadha, a dynasty that greatly shaped the Indian subcontinent. As we venture into the past, we'll unravel tales of power, wisdom and transformation, stories that depict the remarkable reigns of these rulers. From the establishment of the mighty Mauryan Empire by Chandragupta Maurya to the transformative and enduring legacy of Ashoka the Great will delve into their accomplishments, the challenges they faced and the indelible imprints they left behind. But this is not just about rulers and their reigns. It's about the evolution of a civilization, the shaping of a culture and the dawn of an era that continues to echo into the present. So, Stay tuned as we unfold the intriguing narratives of the Mauryan emperors. Our journey starts with the founding father of the Mauryan dynasty, Chandragupta Maurya. Born into humble beginnings, Chandragupta Maurya's life was anything but ordinary. His story is akin to a riveting tale of ambition, strategy and determination. With a dream of unifying the Indian subcontinent, Chandragupta, under the guidance of the brilliant strategist Chanakya, challenged the mighty Nanda dynasty. After a series of strategic maneuvers and alliances, he successfully overthrew the Nandas, marking the dawn of the Mauryan era around the 4th century BCE. Chandragupta's reign was characterized by his expansionist policies. He embarked on a series of military campaigns, stretching the Mauryan dominion from the Bay of Bengal to the Arabian Sea. His conquests extended across the fertile plains of northern India, reaching as far as the rugged terrains of Afghanistan. But the grandeur of his empire was not just a result of these conquests. It was also a testament to his administrative acumen. Chandragupta's rule was marked by significant challenges. He faced fierce resistance from regional powers and had to contend with the complexities of governing a diverse and vast empire. Yet, with Chanakya's counsel, he navigated these challenges, implementing a decentralized form of governance dividing the empire into provinces and appointing governors for efficient administration. Chandragupta's later life saw a dramatic shift. Inspired by the teachings of Jainism, he abdicated the throne in favor of his son, Bindusara, and spent his last days in spiritual pursuit, embodying the principles of non-violence and asceticism. His fascinating journey from a warrior king to a monk reflects the multifaceted nature of his legacy. In a nutshell, Chandragupta Maurya was a visionary leader whose reign was marked by conquests, robust administration, and a quest for spiritual enlightenment. His legacy set the stage for the golden era of the Mauryan Empire, as his successors would build upon the solid foundation he laid. Thus, Chandragupta Maurya's reign laid the robust foundation for the Mauryan Empire. Next, we delve into the reign of one of the most celebrated emperors in history, Ashoka the Great. Ashoka's story is one of transformation. He began his rule as a typical conqueror, expanding his territory through conquest. The Kalinga War marked a turning point in his life. The massive loss of life and suffering during this war deeply troubled Ashoka, leading him to question the path he had taken. This marked the beginning of Ashoka's transformation from a ruthless conqueror to a benevolent ruler. It was during this period of introspection that Ashoka found solace in the teachings of Buddhism. He converted and made Buddhism the state religion, marking a crucial shift in the empire's ideology. But Ashoka's adoption of Buddhism was not merely symbolic, it was transformative. He committed himself to the principles of Dharma, which in Buddhism represents righteousness and moral duty. He sought to govern in a way that would promote peace, compassion and respect for all life. Ashoka's commitment to Dharma was not confined to his personal life or the palace. He sought to infuse these principles into the fabric of his empire. He implemented policies promoting animal welfare, established hospitals for people and animals alike, and encouraged his subjects to live according to the principles of Dharma. But perhaps the most significant aspect of Ashoka's transformative leadership was his effort to spread the teachings of Buddhism both within and beyond his empire. He sent diplomatic missions to various regions, including Greece, Syria, Egypt, and Macedonia sharing the teachings of Buddha and promoting peaceful coexistence. Ashoka's reign was not about expanding his empire through conquest, but about expanding the realm of moral and ethical governance. His leadership marked a significant departure from the norm. 
one that placed compassion, righteousness, and peace at the heart of governance. Ashoka's reign marked a significant shift in the empire's ideology and governance. His transformative leadership left an indelible mark on the Mauryan Empire, shaping its legacy in ways that continue to resonate today. From a conqueror to a compassionate ruler, Ashoka's journey was a testament to the power of change and the enduring impact of moral leadership. The Mauryan reign wasn't just about conquests and religion, it was also an era of architectural marvels and administrative reforms. Delving into the architectural grandeur of the Mauryan era, the Ashoka pillars stand tall, both literally and metaphorically. These stone pillars, scattered across the Indian subcontinent, are adorned with intricate carvings and topped with majestic animal figures. They serve as a testament to the advanced stonework and design capabilities of the Mauryan craftsmen. The pillars are not just architectural masterpieces but also historical documents. The inscriptions on them speak volumes about the ideals and principles of the Mauryan Empire under Ashoka. Beyond these pillars, the Mauryan architecture also showcased its prowess in city planning and construction of fortifications, palaces and universities. The grandeur of the Mauryan architecture reflects the prosperity and the aesthetic sensibilities of the era. But the Mauryan emperors were not just patrons of architecture, they were also visionaries who introduced significant administrative reforms. Chandragupta Maurya, the founder of the dynasty, established a highly efficient and centralized administrative system. The empire was divided into provinces, which were further divided into districts, each governed by officials appointed by the emperor. This hierarchical structure ensured smooth governance and efficient administration across the vast Mauryan empire. Under Ashoka, the administrative machinery was further refined. He introduced the concept of Dhamma Mahamatas, officers responsible for the moral and spiritual welfare of the subjects. These officers played a crucial role in implementing Ashoka's policy of Dhamma, promoting social harmony and ethical values throughout the empire. The Mauryan emperors also excelled in economic administration. They established a well-regulated system of taxation, trade and commerce, which helped in the economic prosperity of the empire. In essence, the Mauryan emperors set a benchmark in architecture and administration, which future Indian dynasties strived to emulate. The blend of their architectural grandeur with their visionary administrative reforms created a holistic development model that paved the way for a prosperous and harmonious society. These achievements and reforms reveal the Mauryan emperor's visionary leadership. Ashoka's reign also marked the propagation of Buddhism across the empire and beyond. Upon his embrace of Buddhism, Ashoka the Great embarked on a mission to spread the teachings of Buddha far and wide. His transformation from a ruthless conqueror to a compassionate ruler was deeply influenced by the principles of Buddhism, leading him to adopt policies of non-violence and welfare. His commitment to the Buddhist doctrine was so profound that he dispatched emissaries to different parts of the world, including Syria, Egypt and Greece, to disseminate the teachings of Buddha. He also ordered the construction of stupas and monasteries across his empire, providing the people with places of worship and meditation. The rock and pillar edicts, inscribed with Buddhist teachings, stood as testament to his unwavering devotion and served as a conduit for the spread of Buddhism. But Ashoka's contribution to Buddhism wasn't merely confined to his own empire. His efforts led to the establishment of Buddhism as a major world religion with a significant presence in various parts of Asia, especially Southeast Asia. His influence extended to lands far beyond the boundaries of his empire, shaping the religious and cultural landscape of regions as distant as Sri Lanka and Indonesia. However, the legacy of the Mauryan emperors is not only tied to the spread of Buddhism. The Mauryan era marked an epoch of political unity, economic prosperity and cultural efflorescence in the Indian subcontinent. Their administrative reforms, architectural marvels and commitment to the welfare of the people have left an indelible mark on Indian history. The Mauryan rulers' principles of governance, their emphasis on social welfare and their propagation of ethical and moral values have been a source of inspiration for subsequent dynasties and modern states. Their rule exemplified a unique blend of power and compassion, of authority and benevolence. And so, centuries after their reign, the Mauryan emperors continue to be revered and remembered. Their stories are woven into the rich tapestry of Indian history, their deeds echoing in the annals of time.
the Mauryan legacy continues to resonate in Indian culture and history. Their reign remains a testament to the enduring power of enlightened leadership, the transformative potential of personal transformation, and the far-reaching effects of a single dynasty's rule. However, like all great empires, the Mauryan dynasty too had its sunset. The dynasty's decline was not a sudden event, but a gradual process, unfolding over decades. Multiple factors conspired to bring about the end of this golden era. The death of Ashoka the Great marked the beginning of the end for the Mauryan Empire. His successors lacked his charismatic leadership and political acumen. Internal power struggles, weak leadership, and the empire's vast size made it increasingly difficult to govern effectively. Economically, the empire was strained. Ashoka's extensive welfare programs, though commendable, heavily taxed the royal treasury. Furthermore, the shift from a military state to a welfare state led to a weakening of the army, making the empire vulnerable to external threats. The empire's vast territories, stretching from present-day Afghanistan to Bangladesh, were a double-edged sword. While they contributed to the dynasty's power and prestige, they also posed significant administrative challenges. The empire was a patchwork of diverse cultures, languages and traditions, and maintaining unity became an uphill task. The final blow came from the outside. Invading tribes from the northwest like the Bactrians, Parthians and eventually the Kushans exploited the weakened Mauryan state, chipping away at its territory. And so the Mauryan empire, once a beacon of power and prosperity, crumbled. But its downfall wasn't the end of its influence. The Mauryan legacy lived on shaping the political landscape of the Indian subcontinent for centuries to come. Subsequent empires like the Gupta Empire borrowed heavily from the Mauryan administrative system. The concept of a centralized government, division of power, and even Ashoka's principle of Dharma influenced the governance of future dynasties. Moreover, the spread of Buddhism initiated by Ashoka continued unabated, reaching far beyond the Indian subcontinent to lands as distant as China, Japan, and Southeast Asia. Despite its fall, the Mauryan dynasty left an indelible mark on the annals of history. Its influence transcended its geographical boundaries and temporal existence, etching a lasting legacy in the annals of human civilization. The influence of the Mauryan emperors extended far beyond their reign. Indeed, their impact was not limited to the political or economic realms, but permeated deeply into the cultural and social fabric of the Indian subcontinent. The Mauryan emperors had a profound influence on Indian art. The Mauryan period marked a significant shift in the artistic tradition of the subcontinent. This era witnessed the creation of large-scale stone and metal sculptures, a stark contrast to the previous tradition of wood and clay. The Ashoka pillars, with their intricate carvings and polished surfaces, serve as prime examples of the artistic prowess of this period. Not just in sculpture, the Mauryan impact was seen in architecture as well. The Grand Stupa at Sanchi, which was commissioned by Emperor Ashoka, is a testament to the architectural genius of the time. Its elaborate carvings narrate the tales of Buddha's life, providing a glimpse into the visual storytelling techniques of the period. In the realm of literature, the Mauryan period saw the creation of some of the earliest written records in India. The edicts of Ashoka, inscribed on pillars and rocks across the country, reveal a lot about the social norms, legal codes, and administrative policies of the time. Moreover, the Mauryan emperors played a crucial role in shaping governance in the region. The centralized administrative system, with a well-defined hierarchy of officials, was a hallmark of the Mauryan rule. This system laid the foundation for future administrative structures in Indian history. But perhaps the most enduring contribution of the Mauryan emperors has been in shaping the cultural ethos of the region. Ashoka's propagation of Buddhism and his principles of Dharma had a profound influence on the societal norms and values. The ideals of non-violence, tolerance and compassion promoted by Ashoka continue to be integral to the Indian way of life. The Mauryan emperors thus played a pivotal role in defining the cultural and social dynamics of the region. Their reign might have ended centuries ago, but their influence continues to resonate in the cultural, artistic and societal aspects of the Indian subcontinent. And so, we come to the end of our journey through the reigns of the Mauryan emperors. We've unraveled the tales of their remarkable reigns, from Chandragupta Maurya's establishment of the dynasty 
to Ashoka the Great's transformative leadership. We've admired their architectural marvels, understood their administrative reforms and traced the widespread influence of Buddhism across the empire and beyond. The Mauryan Emperor's enduring legacy continues to shape the cultural fabric of the Indian subcontinent, evident in our art literature and governance. Their story is a testament to the power of visionary leadership and the enduring impact of wise governance. As we delve deeper into our historical explorations, let's remember the lessons from these ancient rulers and their contributions to our shared heritage. Remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more captivating historical insights. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning.